Hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. You were a good girl. You were a good girl. That looked amazing. She's so calm today. She's in a really, really good place. Yeah, it looked like you were just about to get on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she feels really good. Yeah, she's it's amazing. She's so much in the last two years. In what way? She's now, she's not so spooky. She's not so anxious or nervous. She's very communicative about how she feels mm -hmm. um, as well. In a very subtle way. Yes. As, yeah. opp <laughs> as opposed to having to run off to the other side of the arena. She can just look around and we know now that she yeah. she's maybe doesn't feel comfortable about something. So we can take a step back. Because she used to be so spooky and it was just like all the toys went out of the pram, wasn't it? And that yeah. was it. That was the end of Leo for the day. Yeah, she'd try once and if, it didn't, if she didn't like it or... It, something went a bit wrong or she spooked and as you say that was it yeah. for the day she didn't want to try again but now she's just really connected um she really wants to try all the time she doesn't want to have a break either yeah she just yeah. wants to carry on with the training yeah, i know she, she wouldn't go and eat the free food she's yeah. oh no i want to keep no, no, going no. it's great <laughs> so you were saying about her communication what what did you you know what are you seeing from her what can people look out for from her at the moment when i for example get onto the mountain block and I lift a piece of mane sort of to get ready to, you know, sort of doing all those start things that you do before you're going to get in the saddle. She can start to just lean away ever so slightly or just turn away slightly. And it's, it's, she's sort of thinking about moving away from the mountain block. Um, so I've been very um, cautious about that and just holding the mane and giving her a click and a treat for when she's, and she's always made the decision to come back and stay with me. But the thought was there. So it's been really beneficial to spend a long time here at the mountain block to make sure that she's holding the mane, that's fine. And also putting the foot in the stirrup as well to make sure that isn't a trigger for her to wander off. Good girl, Leo. Yeah, because when you're restarting a horse, you've always got to think about what are the old triggers they have yeah. from previous riding. And you keep pressing those triggers inadvertently. Like yeah. <laughs> you felt she was so calm and then you just put your hand on the mane and she was like, oh, we're off that's her old stuff coming in and uh, so we're trying to make sure we really establish the new stuff yeah. and the new the new pathways in the brain so that she doesn't even think of moving off i'd rather have a horse that was stuck at the yeah. mountain block. glue to the mountain block <laughs> not going anywhere then we'll deal with moving we off. can work with definitely so this year at the, at the center it's really exciting because we've got yeah. four of them that are ready to um be restarted Started or started um, so we're really yeah. hoping be able to, to be able to offer um, some mounted lessons this year, which is going to be exciting. But certainly anybody who's working on starting or restarting, we have going to have loads of material and loads yeah. of practice. Yep, the, and it's great because we've got Manuela who were actually starting from fresh and then the others have been restarted. So there's lots of, they've all got so many different um, histories and everything. So I'm sure that a lot of people will be able to find a horse that they can... Um, relate to with their own horses back yeah, at home yeah and we're absolutely passionate about people starting their own horses yeah. it's not that difficult it's just a very slow methodical process and we'd much prefer people to start their own horses than send them off yeah. to a trainer that can be quite traumatic yes and i i did it with my first horse segura um i'd got no confidence left we <laughs> had no relationship hi sweetie and uh, it gave us both the most fantastic relationship because we took it back to the beginning and we built things up at our own pace without any peer pressure with just we just went along when we were ready and when we were right it was really right yeah it yeah. was and it felt amazing and it's a, it makes it even more special when you can build that relationship up again yeah. and then go forwards from there and and build on it it feels amazing so how do you think about having a try because a minute ago you had a try <laughs> and you were ready to get on but you didn't have anybody at her head, so we're thinking you might have another try, and I'll just yeah. hold the leader up, not only be for safety, only just a safety line. I'm yeah. not going to do anything, um, yeah. and see that maybe maybe she'll be happy about see you her. getting on. And we'll but if not, we can show you the kind of signs of tension we're looking for yeah. if we don't think she's good. Yep. So, hello, and girl. it might be different because you're stood there. Yeah, so exactly. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oops. Oops. We're dancing. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Good. So I'm going to try and be really passive. I'm going to go, um, if she's ready, I'm going to try leaning over first. Yeah. So we're just watching her signs and <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> she's very calm. I'm just going to zip that up a bit.
The one thing with mountain, your feet fall out. Yeah, you have to grab a handful before you get on. Top tip. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. Good girl. So that was a nice breathe out you did before you stepped in the stirrup. Now, how did that feel? Good. Yeah. Is that good? I felt her tension, um, not her tension, her attention come back to me. Yeah. Because obviously there was weight in the stirrup, which yeah. is not a lot of weight in the stirrup, which we haven't done before. But she felt good. Good girl. And there's a real temptation at this point just to get on. And the really difficult thing is to decide not to if it doesn't feel 100%. Or even if it's just gone really, really well. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then you can stop before... Yeah. It's yeah, you good. should stop before, you know, and while the going is good. It's good. always stop while the going is good. Nice. You're a good lad. Nice. Good girl. And I really like that she touched her target and then you waited before yeah. you got on. So it's like we like the target touch to be like permission. Yeah. Good girl. And I think we'll leave that there today because yeah. that's another, it's a tiny step, but it's another step forwards in the right direction without any stress or tension or danger. It's completely safe and we're all happy and very rewarded. Very humans, nice. Humans so included. You are such a Good superstar, girl. aren't you? Good girl. You are. I hope you enjoyed that video. As I said, during it, I am absolutely passionate about starting and restarting your horses at home. In fact, we're so passionate about it, we have created a whole course on it at our Connection Training Club. So in our Starting Your Horse Under Saddle course, we go through absolutely everything you need to know and everything you need to do to enable you to back or reback your horse at, at home. Because often horses being sent away to trainers have a traumatic experience and also they don't build the connection with you that is the best thing about doing it yourself from home. And following this step-by-step -step approach, it makes it easy and safe. And as we emphasised in the video, every step is very small, um, and positive and keeps both of you safe all the way. As a member of the Connection Training Club you get access to lots of lovely goodies. For example you, join our, you can join our members only forum uh, where you can ask questions and join in conversations and discussions with other members and we also have a monthly Q&A which is a live Q&A session with Hannah and I where you can ask your questions. So uh, why don't you hop along to connectiontraining.com and join our club. Join today. We'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching.